Today, we're checking out 17 amazing science experiments on YouTube. Of course, if you guys enjoy, be sure to drop a like. If you around here, hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell. Let's waste no more time, and let's get into it. Starting off, we have swinging sticks. Okay, listen, I've seen sticks swing. This doesn't seem very exciting until... What are they going to do here? Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, it's doing something new. Oh, it's going all the way around. Okay, now this is a wheel. Bro, this is, I swear, science always throws me off because I never know what to expect. And you look at this, you're like, oh man, this is just like a big wheel with strings. But in reality, dudes, this is actually probably like a really big yo-yo. They're going to wind this thing all the way up. And I'm assuming what's going to happen is that once it's all the way to the top and you drop it, it continuously just bounces at that rate. It's sort of like, uh, like a yo-yo, I guess. Like a really big yo-yo with the big thing in the middle. Technically, right? I mean, what's the difference there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this a science experiment? Or just someone ruining a kid's life? Because let me tell you, this poor kid's gonna be so sad his toy is- Ah! Did you have to reverse into it? With your nice, shiny wheels? Bro, the, honestly? I wonder. Do they clean the wheels every time they make these videos? Because look at this. The wheel is like brand new. And now they're running over someone's helicopter. Listen, this is a brand new wheel. Super clean. All right. And you're just ruining kids toys. Now you're ruining dog. Oh my God, bro. Dog food. What did the dog ever do to you? Huh? What did the dog ever? Look at this, bro. The dog food did not need to get crushed. Like, I, I don't think anyone at home was like, oh man, I wonder what would happen if I run over my dog's bowl with food in it. No, no one, no, not a single person. But as you guys can imagine, now there's a dog that's hungry out there. Now we got two balls. I've had two balls for a long time, but if you spin the balls, it looks like there's a light on the balls, but in reality, it's just the ring light looking down. And I think this guy's blowing into this ball. Okay, this is just sounding really weird. He was blowing into the ball. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Um, what, what just, I have no idea what just happened there. And I have no idea what this is, what's going on here either. Element Enigma. Cleverly designed and precision matched to have the exact same volume of six cubic centimeters. What? What? Oh my, bro. That is cool. They just did like some kind of fusion thing. Oh, my favorite. We're shredding jelly. I love when we shred jelly on this channel because it's just so satisfying it to like to watch it. The thing is, if you guys look, it looks like the jelly is just getting like all nasty in there. Look at that. Like, why isn't it slowing it down? That, that, was, a, that was a lot of jelly, like a ton of jelly. And now we're like getting rid of someone's dog's chew toy. Or no, maybe this isn't even a chew toy. It's like a stress reliever ball. And it instantly got destroyed. Like, it didn't even stand a chance. No. It didn't, did not stand a chance. Just like this thing, did not, this mask. This mask did not stand a chance. It just cracked in half. Easy claps. No problem. Gone. J Bro, they had to use a brick. Look at this. The brick even got stuck on the back of the mud flaps. It just crushed. Oh, my. We got freaking... Well, you know what they say? When life hands you lemons, make lemonade. And there we are, making lemonade. That actually looks really good. I've I've never seen them get crushed like that. Rat rotational instability. This bowl is shaped top will always slip over when spun. That is a science experiment. Wait, what? Anytime oh, wait. Wait, so anytime you you spin this thing, it's gonna just automatically flip over? Not every time, right? What if you... What? How is that a thing? How is that possible? Literally, like, it just, like... Bro, that is actually some serious science. That is some serious... It didn't even spin it that hard. It, it was a soft spin. And, like, it did all that. And, oh, my God, speaking of all that. Bro, why would... Why? Look at this. It's already getting big. Oh my. Oh, bro. That is disgusting. 
Look at this. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger. It doesn't know what to do. The soda's like going in there so fast. And inside the balloon was just like exploding all the Mentos and Coke. Oh, what the heck is this? That didn't survive at all. It just, it just yeeted out of there. Yep. Can't run this one over, brother. Oh, well, never mind. <clears throat> you had to cheat. It looks like they just crushed it. They, they broke it before they ran it over. What even is that thing? Ooh, rubber band ball. Bro, once this thing gets, yep. I figure once it gets caught, that's it, it's over. Didn't stand a chance. It does look really cool though when it's all getting sliced. I like it, I like it. Oh. Whoop. What was that? Oh, that sucks. They're like, are those, those, I think those are stress balls, right? With like liquid inside that literally exploded everywhere. What the heck is that? Like some kind of foam? Bro, I swear, I will never understand how to clean this machine. Like, look at this. Serious science though. Speaking of serious, serious science, what is this? It's a self-balancing robot cube with motor to counteract disturbance. So this is always working to stay balanced. It's called B-Block. It's a self-balancing robot. What the? Bro. Wait, will it always just balance no matter what? Look at this. He's even lifting it and it's even... That is... That's scary. I swear one day robots are going to take over, guys. I believe it. I know it's going to be true. We got all these robots out of here. They're, I'm telling you, they're all being made. Oh. Is this just Play-Doh? Colored Play-Doh being just shredded right now. I love shredding Play-Doh. I think shredding Play-Doh is like the coolest. Look at that. Look at those chunks. What is this? Bottles of jelly? It is bottles of jelly. Green jelly and red jelly. And what the? Huh. I sort of like it a lot. All right, shred away. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's cool. That is cool. I, I approve. I approve. It's just going everywhere, to be honest. And the Play-Doh's, ugh. How do you clean that? I, I don't know. Passive levitation. Well, it's levitating? It's because it's magnets, isn't it? That is cool, though. These magnets are levitating. Oh, it levitated right off the counter, like the table, though. Imagine we had a world where the roads were made of this magnet. And we could literally have levitating cars. Just saying. Would be pretty cool. Or snowboards. I guess it wouldn't be snowboard. It'd be magnet boarding, I guess, at that point, right? How would you stop, though? I don't think you could. I guess you would have to, like, reverse the magnetism and make you just splat, plop on the floor. A swing thing. A full craft kinetic art from the 1970s. What? Someone made this just, like, a full craft kinetic art from the 70s. Oh my, what the? Okay, somebody must have been real bored in the 70s. This is what they had fun doing. Ugh. Now we're shred, now we're, okay, this is jelly orange soda. Jelly orange soda. We've crushed a lot, we've, we've crushed a lot of jelly things today and Play-Doh. And let me tell you, this is like the most weirdest looking one. It's like so long, like, pfft, I, I don't even understand. How do you even make it jelly like that? I was not expecting this at all. Does anyone else have the chills or is it just me? That was insane. Anti-gravity water droplet clock? Wait, what? Wait, it, wait, anti-gravity water droplets. How does that even work? Anti-gravity? Look at this. They're going up. My brain's broken. These are weird experiments. Gotta say, if you guys enjoyed the video, click here or here to watch the next one. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys there with a brand new one. Click here or here. Get out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!